what's up you guys I'm back here again today with Toby um, I just wanted to bring up a little important topic today and that is setting a daily routine um, this morning I actually found an interesting article that Columbia University and Judith Matloff had published and it talks about setting daily routines and why it's important during this time especially during the quarantine why you should have a schedule uh, quote from the article by Judith is the first thing is to accept this is the new normal for as long as it lasts. I know for some of us it may be hard because we're stuck indoors a lot of the time and we're not going to work, we're not seeing our friends, but there's other ways we can help ourselves feel some type of normalcy. All right, um, the first thing that uh, in the article it states, the best practice is to set a schedule for yourself. So set a schedule for the time you get up every day, when you have your meals, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and for when you go to bed, okay? Also throughout the day, they say it's important to make times for activities such as reading a book, finding exercise. You can go on YouTube, even with our gym teacher, Miss LaRosa, she's posting things on Edmodo. Um, and also, even if you want to socialize, because we are not, we are not designed as human beings to be contained at all times or social by nature. So even if you can participate in a video chat with your friends if you have the opportunity to do so. Um, also, Matt, Lo Matt Love had recommended before going to bed, it's important for us to take that time to relax our minds and help shut our brains off in a way. So she said to avoid watching the news or using any type of social media like Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube. She said watching those things keeps our brains awake, causes a sense of worry, especially when watching the news with all of the information coming in. Um, plus, the blue light that we get from technology, such as computers, phones, televisions, gives off what we call blue light, which confuses our brain and causes us to stay awake. It, help, it prevents our brains from creating the natural chemical melatonin, which helps your brain fall asleep and helps you ultimately fall asleep. All right. Um, and yeah, with that blue light, so like I said, it makes your brain think that it's still daylight outside. So it stops you from sleeping, which isn't good. And rest is always an important thing for our brains, especially as learners. So what I'm going to do today, because I tried this after reading this article, I set myself a schedule. So I'm going to, on the board here, show you my schedule, what I did today so far. So today... I had my alarm go off, so at 6 o'clock this morning, so 6 o'clock a.m., okay, I woke, I wake up, okay, and at about 6.15, I went and had a cup of coffee. Of coffee and checked the weather. <clears throat> and then at 6.30 this morning, I decided that since it was nice enough outside and to get myself out of the house in a way, I went for a jog. Okay. Just for everyone to know, it is still safe for us to go outside. We still have to practice social distancing, which is a minimum of six feet apart from others, even if it is family members, because we do not want to spread the virus more than it already has. Okay, then around 7 a.m., I came back, I cooked breakfast. Cook breakfast. And then by 7 seven twenty, I was done eating. I did some cleaning. And then by seven forty, okay, I showered. And 
got get dressed. And then by the time it was by the time I was done with all of that, it was eight o'clock. And it was time for me to go to work or come here and teach you guys some information online. All right. As you can see, I even got dressed like it's a normal day. That also helped me a lot because it makes me feel like, you know what, I am going out. I might be seeing someone. It gives you that sense of normalcy, like I said before. So this is an example of something you can do. You don't have to follow my schedule per se, but maybe it's something you can try out. Give yourself a schedule and see how you feel afterwards after a few days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day.